So right before this video starts, I know Modern Warfare 2 is here and Warzone 2 is coming out soon. But, I love Warzone, I'm always gonna love Warzone. And since I love Warzone so much, I'm still gonna make this movement guide, I do not care. Let's go. So you clicked on this video because you want to become a movement god. But I am here to tell you that that's not happening. You're not becoming good at movement. You suck. Okay, real talk now. You want to get good at movement. You see all these sweaty players doing all the next level movement and sneaking you out and just killing you. But before you learn how to do movement in this video, I want to ask you a question. Can you hit your shots when you shoot at enemies? I had a friend who wanted to learn movement, but his gun skill was absolute shit. So he legit would do movement, but would never win a gunfight in his life. So I want to ask you again, can you hit your shots when there's enemies in front of you? If you can't, then there's no point of learning movement because you won't ever win a fight. If you do, good. Watch the video and enjoy and learn how to do movement. But if you don't, practice your aim first. Trust me, it's so much more worth it. In Warzone, if you see, sometimes you are killed by someone who does no movement at all. I'm telling you guys, aim. Aim is more important than movement by far. Anyone can beat you by just hitting their shots, even if you do the most insane movements. So yeah, time to teach you all the movement techniques and how to become a movement god. So what is movement? Why is movement? And how is movement? So let's start with what is movement? Movement is just moving around. Wow, man, like, I mean, kind of obvious, but like, still, just moving around in war zone. But when people say movement, sweats normally mean sweaty movement such as like slide canceling, bunny hopping, all that next level stuff that you see. And yeah, that's just movement. So now let's get into why is movement. Why do people do movement? Why do sweats do all this movement? And it's, it might be kind of obvious to you, but I'll explain the two reasons why people do movement in Warzone. The first reason is that they want to move around the map quicker. Basically, slide canceling and stuff move, makes you go faster than just normally running. So that's why people do this, to get around the map faster and just get stuff done, basically get more kills. The faster you can get somewhere, the faster you can kill that guy, more kills you can get in the game, you know? Simple as that. The second reason is to avoid the enemy's shots or just like break their camera. You've probably heard break their camera so much, but basically breaking their camera so that they miss their shots and then you can kill them basically. It's pretty simple. So most Warzone players utilize movement to win more gunfights. But obviously when you want to win a gunfight, you also have to have good aim. That's why I explained at the start of this video. That's why you make sure you have good aim before you learn movement. One more reason why people might do movement is to look cooler in game. But I mean, there's no really point to that in my opinion. But like all these sweaty videos and stuff you see, they're cool because the movement's cool. And the movement just makes them look cooler in general. So yeah, movement in general, you know. So now we're at the best part. How do you do movement? How do you do these slide cancellations, these jumps, turn into a rabbit, turn into a monkey, jump around, you know, do the next level stuff, you know? How do you do this stuff? How? Well, I can give you one word, which is practice. You have to actually learn the movement techniques before you actually practice though. Because you, you, you could just run around, you know, slide cancel here and there, you know, practice supposedly, but you actually aren't practicing the right strategy to actually use that in a gunfight and win. So I'm going to be going over the four main fundamental movement techniques that are used by sweaty players, pro players, all that stuff, and how you can combo them up. Now, first, before I start teaching you the ways of the movement, you got to have the right settings. If you have the wrong settings, it will be a lot harder for you to actually do these movements. For me, I do not have a scuff controller. I have a normal controller so i use settings that are good for that i have a video it should be in the card up above on the best controller settings on warzone for movement and just aim in general but anyways let's get into the best movement strategies in warzone so starting off with the first one out of the four slide canceling now you have definitely heard of slide canceling and you probably actually slide cancel in warzone but let me tell you that you might be doing it wrong i have a friend who played this game for three years and found out now that he was slide canceling wrong the entire time. But even if you do slide cancel properly, you still need to see this because I'm going to show you how to use it in different situations and combo them up with other strats. Well, first, let's get this out of the way. How do you slide cancel? First, you must know how to slide, which is basically tapping or holding your slide button. Now, to cancel your slide, just tap your slide button mid-slide. This should stop the slide midway. Now, to get up from this position, you click your jump button once. So the way you do this quickly is double tapping your slide button and jumping. Just practice slide canceling around the map in a custom game or just a normal game. Just try slide cancel canceling a lot. Slide canceling is the base for all the other movements because it creates momentum and speed for you. Slide canceling regens your tactical sprint, which gives you a lot of momentum and speed. Now make sure you are not slide canceling like this. If it looks like this and it actually slows you down, make sure you do not do this because my friend was doing this and he actually thought it was slide canceling for the longest time. Make sure your slide cancels look like this, not this. Now, hopefully you should be able to slide cancel. Just run around, slide cancel. Just practice a lot if you still don't got it. But anyways, let's move on 
to bunny hopping. So to bunny hop, the base of it is to just jump and aim at the same time. Bunny hopping is basically jump shotting, but on a whole other level. So to start practicing this, I would jump and look to the side and aim at the same time, just as I'm doing on screen right now. Try to jump and aim at a specific spot mid air, just like there's an enemy over there. Now that you got this down, let's move to the next step, which is actually bunny hopping. To start bunny hopping, you want to do a jump shot, but jump one more time as you hit the ground. When you hit the ground, you want to move your left stick to the side that you're jumping towards. So you can create momentum and keep going that direction when you bunny hop. It should look a little something like this. This will take a lot of practice to get. It won't come easily. This one's actually harder than slide canceling. It will take some time. But when you get it, this will be an amazing tool to use against enemies. So yeah, that's really what bunny hopping is. That's how it works. And yeah, that's how you do it. The next thing I'm going to show you is drop shotting. Now, you might already know a lot about drop shotting. It's basically when you're shooting at an enemy, but you just go, you prone to the floor while shooting. So they miss their shots on you. But this can be used in various situations and comboed with many different things. So one way I use this a lot is slide canceling into a drop shot the way this would work was you slide cancel and then you hold your crouch button against a prone this actually disorients your enemy a lot and yeah when you drop shot it kind of catches your enemy off guard but the only problem with drop shotting is is that the closest thing to them is your head and now they're gonna hit headshots if they readjust their aim don't worry because there's a way to solve the problem of them hitting your head only with the fourth way i'm gonna show you on that movement techniques the fourth way is snaking which is basically drop shotting but extra stuff involved basically snaking is drop shotting but then when you hit the ground as soon as you hit the ground you spam your jump button this would make you get up very fast and if you spam this like prone spam jump then prone against spam jump you literally look like a snake in warzone that's what's called snaking basically this is amazing you have to use this if you ever drop shot the smartest thing to do would snake up while shooting at them it is actually gonna catch them a crazy off guard man because when you drop shot they're gonna look down to aim at you and then when you get back up they're gonna try to look up again it's, it's gonna be weird so you can practice combos such as slide canceling into a drop shot into a snake and ma many there's so many combos so let's get into more combos now when comboing up you have to actually practice this a lot because you're not gonna be able to do this against an enemy you're actually when you're playing an enemy most of the time you're gonna panic first and that's not going to be good. So you want to train these movement techniques and then use them all the time. So I would recommend going into a custom game or just load into like a plunder game or something and just run around and basically slide, cancel, bunny hop, snake and drop shot and combo those up. And those are the four fundamentals really. And basically those can combo up into many different techniques. Smooth movements. That's what you want to try to do. Smooth movements for you anyway that you can control so you don't mess it up and that causes your enemy to miss their shots. Just reminding you though, as I said at the start of the video, you must have good aim. If you do not have good aim, you won't be able to use the movement effectively because you'll do movements. But then how are you going to kill the enemy properly? You're going to still miss your shots and the enemy with good aim will actually still hit their shots. And then you're screwed. But yeah, those are the ways that you can movementize your enemies. Uh, that sounds so stupid. Warzone 2 is coming out soon, I know. But I still feel like I'm going to be playing Warzone 1 a lot. That's why I still decided to make this movement guide now. Please leave a like if it helped you out a lot. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Peace.